Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Crazy D's Equipment. So today, we're going to be working on this uh, uh, little Ford 20... 600 or whatever um, this belongs to a family friend it's not going on the lot or anything uh, he was using it one afternoon and it died and it wouldn't start again you turn the key nothing happens uh, so he asked me multiple times very kindly if I could get Dan to work on it get the doc to work on it so I said well maybe I got the dock really, really busy right now and I didn't really need them all off of my projects, but he's an elderly fellow. He's actually 98 years old. So I decided that um, for him, we probably could do this with no problem. So uh, he's uh, he got it up here with, with him and his son and we got it into the building and I guess we'll get it shoved into a bay and me, and then let's see, let's follow along with the dock and figure out why this little thing just came to a halt. So let's get started. Well, dock, I see we got it into the bay. Um, so what are your thoughts? What are you thinking on this thing? <laughs> That's a lot of, a lot of I, silence there. I'm not quite sure. Part of me wonders if it's not maybe the solenoid, but... You're going to test that? We're going to check and see if we're at least getting power that far. Getting power that far. Well, he was concerned it's the neutral safety switch thing in the transmission. Because he said it was getting hard to start at one time. But if he wiggled the stick shift, then uh, it would start. Um, so I didn't know if that means anything to you or if that's a possibility. But it is absolute dead. You turn the key, nothing happens. He put a brand new battery on it and it's still dead 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 yeah. so i guess it's time to test your knowledge and see if you can figure out what's wrong with this little old ford yeah so all right i'm gonna let you work and i'll get out of your hair for a second we'll see what you got going here okay doc so you've been uh tinkering on it for a little bit mm -hmm. what have you come up with um i think we have well, we're not getting power from between here at the, the solenoid electric switch, or whatever you want to call it, and the uh, key switch. Okay, so, so what's wonder, interrupting that? I wonder if it's just not the... Uh, if it isn't a neutral safety the, switch. It is a neutral safety switch. So how are we going to check that? Um, I'm going to pull this plate here off, and then I'll, we'll do some probing in there and okay. with my... And then well, we can I, bypass it and see if it'll start. And if it starts that way, we, we're for sure, huh? Yeah, and then we'll, we need to get replace it. Cause it's I'll get it ordered if that's it. They're, they're important. Well, I'm going to let you start pulling stuff off and let you tinker. Okay. So guys, before we get too much farther in here, here's your two wires that go to the uh, neutral safety switch, which this one here comes down from here up the, here at the key switch. And then it goes through here, 
to your neutral sw safety switch, and then back down to your um, what do you want to call it? Starter or Starter coil relay switch Re thing. Okay. So I'm going to take this here. I'm going to put it like that. Then I'm going to push in the clutch just in case it, it works. Uh -huh. And we're going to just a few ones to make it start. Fuel's open. Okay. So we've made some progress. Let's check this all the way out. But I don't think. And I don't. You might want to check and make sure it got fuel too. I don't know if it has enough fuel in it, it or not. Because I don't. But that day. Oh, we got fuel in the little filter down there. Okay. So right there, guys. Actually, what we were trying to find out is well, it was what was stopping the us getting it to crank cool. over. So, so we may have another issue that we might have to look at with Spark, but it may not be much. So I do know I need to order a neutral safety switch. Yes, and I will get that order now. I, everything I've seen are about eighteen dollars a piece, but they don't come with those top wires. Okay. So. We would have to. Well, it, it, it may be, it may be, uh, unless that a couple of screws on the top or. And the, I tell you what, also, they're not looking like that one. They're looking more like the one for the Ford 3000 and 2000, but they're all saying uh, 2000 through like all these Ford models, 2600 is one of them. Yeah. So I'll have to do a little digging before I make the order. But so. It is the neutral safety switch the whole time, just like he thought maybe it was. Yeah. I, I like to see if we couldn't get it just to start and run. We might have to do a little bit more cranking because it has been, I mean, this did it to him. He put it in the barn mm -hmm. and then they hasn't started it in, in a few months. So it would be nice to hear it up and go. Yeah, it looks like it's been replaced it, at one point. Put, they, maybe they, and they put an El Cheapo Chinese one in. Mm -hmm and it just cr it was crap from start well it was one of those things that could have been just a bad just a bad life one so yeah. well let's back up a little bit okay you you got that bypassed let me move our angle here and let's give it a crank and let's see if this old girl will put and putter okay now what okay doc see if you can't get it to start okay See what we do. Yeah, Wanna give her another little snorty snort? That give it a snorty of, snort? I'll give it a snort. I was looking at the gas a second ago. It's smelling kind of gross. Oh, the gas is bad? Kind of old, yeah. yeah. Sounds... It's a pretty so, good sounding tractor. I know. It's amazing how balanced these little three cylinders are. Yeah. For being but three cylinders, you think it would be a little out of balance, but. Nice. So I'm looking like crazy me, my dear brother. Give me that switch, and then we can get that in for, for him. And and Bob will be happy. Yeah, Mr. Bob. I'll let Bob know his tractor's ready to go. So, okay. Well, very good. You want me just to drive this thing out while it's running? That way it's not in the way? Or does it not matter? Yeah, let's go ahead and pull it out because we know what's wrong. Uh, make sure you pick up the. Uh, I'll get it all there. You only made that mistake once. You know what? Actually, just leave it in the shop. Let's leave it in. Leave it in? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, guys, there you go. Little uh, 2600 is up and running. So, 
we know what we need neutral safety switch i'll get that ordered um, this is also be a good time right now for you guys to hop over and check out the shirt page the doc will put all the goodies up here on the screen right now so you guys know what we got in there whole bunch of new tractor shirts if you're into those things and other stuff in the shirt shop so definitely check that out um, also real quick before we finish this up uh, people who've joined the channel you guys will start getting these videos a day or two or three ahead of everybody else um, uh, it's the best we can do for you guys we so appreciate you guys joining the channel and paying that membership and stuff so we got to throw you we're going to throw you as many bones as we possibly can for that and we really thank you for doing that but otherwise we'll get that neutral safety switch ordered in um it'll probably be a few if be a few days before i get it you'll get this done i'll call bob tell him come get his tractor mm -hmm. and we can move on to the next project little brother yeah thanks for coming in guys see you later on this week